No, actually. Oh, there is. There is a random. Okay, here's an unscheduled, untyped uh, news alert, emergency news alert from uh, from from my desk. So, in August, I want to say when the Drop Kiwi Farm stuff happened. I decided I needed some backup communication channels. And so I looked on Telegram and discovered that Kiwi Farms had been parked. And I, I, I reached out to the guy that had parked the Kiwi Farms URL and I asked for it. And he very, uh, very graciously gave it to me, but he had a request. He said, if you gave me the URL, he would like me to put him and his friends in charge of the discussion thing. Cause the way telegram works is that you have channels and then you have discussion groups and you can make it so that a discussion group allows for commenting on the actual channel post. So I said, okay, that sounds amenable as long as things are not completely fucking retarded and you can abide by a couple restrictions. Uh, that is a agreeable thing. Cause I don't even want to take care of it. Uh, so the Kiwi Farms chat was set up, Netcast, and event, over time, his friends were added into it. I don't know any of these people. Uh, the only reason why they were ever mods is that uh, Netcast had parked the URL and had offered to give it to me in exchange for running the chat, which he did for over six months now. Um, at some point, there was friction. There was friction in two different two different areas of this telegram group. And I outlined both of them to him at different points. And he decided he didn't care. Uh, first was that there is a bot in this telegram that he set up called Rose. Apparently telegrams moderation features are a little bit lacking. So there is a third party API called Rose, which has a couple automated moderation tools built into it that many people find useful who operate large telegram groups. Uh, it also has a feature to auto respond to certain terms with images or text or text and images. Uh, these are called filters. They don't filter anything. They simply trigger responses. So the Jannies of this telegram group decided that uh, every single fucking word in the entire English language deserved a meme response from rose uh that made and when i when i say like a meme response i don't mean like a tiny icon i mean the images that the bot replies with are half the fucking vertical height of the chat room so if you accidentally say one of these words it triggers an image that literally disrupts conversation because half the chat is re is replaced with like a giant image there is no cooldown and there is no like time limit at all so if you for instance there was like a word like if any common word has a filter and there are many like sync words that you would just trigger it um so if you're having a conversation for instance about a fucking make of a car it would trigger a meme and every time you mention the make of the car it would trigger the meme again doesn't matter how quickly it was it would just do this over and over again a long time ago i cleared out this list of bullshit filters and um, they over time re-added to it, not as bad as before, but they re-added to it to the point where it was disruptive again. The other issue was that, um, there were trannies in this chat that were just attention whores. They had obvious humiliation fetishes. They wanted to be berated. They wanted to be yelled at, and they would constantly talk. I'm talking a, a thousand plus messages a day, every day, all times of all days. And to really finally completely and totally and i i banned this one in particular that was a fucking menace as far as i was concerned to really drive home how fucking annoying this was they combined the two they combined the two so that if you said the name of the tranny who was always there begging for attention talking about how gross he was it would give you a meme about the tranny so which was an instant dopamine hit and it disrupted conversation constantly because there were always people constantly talking to this fucking tranny it was just the worst experience ever so i banned the tranny i uh break the bot again and uh and the the admin becomes irate at me and, and just tells me to go uh suck his dick and i'm like okay well i now have to consider you 
like feral you've gone rogue you've gone awol so as a precaution uh i de-admin him i ban him and i de-admin all the other admins and now the admins are in like i got banned from their moderator chat room that i was invited to and apparently they're all mad at me and are plotting my demise as we speak um however i can attest that with two moderators in the chat room and no bot and no trannies the quality of the telegram chat room is higher than it has ever been i've been in there all day talking to people and it's like oh so this this is like functional now this is now like a real place where people can have a discussion how wonderful it's not so hard is it just literally do less do less annoying shit and ban trannies and wow you have a fucking uh discussion room once again amazing uh, so if it becomes an if it becomes an issue and I don't want to take care of it and I can't find mods, I'll just lock it because it's like it's an auxiliary to the site. But I'm really just shocked by like how deliberately fucked with it was. And it's like all you had to do was nothing, <laughs> ban the trannies and like that are disrupting the chat and get rid of the fucking bot that spams constantly. And it's just so much better. I'm the Janny, they gotta call in when you have to sweep up the Jannies on the on the top level Janny, executive room privileges. Uh yeah, so it is usable now. You're welcome to chat if you want to. And of course, now that I say this is gonna be unusable, it's gonna be completely flooded with retards as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.